Telemetry is an instrumentation profiler that graphically shows where your threads spend time. Telemetry is fast. It can capture over a million zones per second and allow you to examine them in real time. With incredibly low overhead, enabling telemetry profiling won't crush your program's performance. The visualizer is smooth and responsive, even with the largest captures. Session size is only limited by disk space, so you can capture long runs and hunt down all of your program's performance hitches. Navigating the telemetry timeline is fast and easy. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out centered around the cursor. Left click drag to pan both horizontally and vertically. You can also zoom by right-click dragging a selection window to a particular time range. The time range slider along the bottom of the timeline can also be used to pan horizontally and zoom via the start and end buttons. Double-clicking the main slider will zoom to the extents. The vertical scroll bar can be used to scroll through your timeline tracks, or use the shift modifier to vertically scroll with the mouse wheel. Left clicking on any zone will zoom to the time extents of that zone. Additionally, left clicking on a frame will zoom to the time extents of that frame. Telemetry can visualize your game in real time, allowing you to inspect profiling results as the game is running. Open the timeline during a live capture to see information about all of your threads. Bad frames are determined by an adjustable setting and they are displayed in red to help you see when your program is taking longer than you expect. Did you see that really long frame go by? Let's pan back in time and see what was happening. First we look at the main thread to see what took so long. By right clicking on the main tick zone, we can profile it and see where the time went. In this case, we see we are spending 88% of our time waiting on a lock held by the resource manager. Let's scroll down to the resource loading thread and see what was happening. We can see that the resource loading thread is active and loading models for some of the NPCs in our game. This is a simple example, but it shows how powerful it is to see the results of your capture in real time. You can search for zones by name using the Find Zone tool. To open the Find Zone tool, press the magnifying glass icon at the bottom left of the timeline, or use the Control F hotkey. Once the Find Zone tool is open, simply type in a search string and press Enter. You can sort the zones by duration to easily find the longest one in the set. Double clicking on a result jumps to that zone in the timeline. Additionally, you can limit your search to a particular track using the track filter. In this case, we are looking for zones containing the word shadow on tracks containing the word worker. Again, we can easily find the longest zone and jump to it. With telemetry lock markup, you can easily see threads lock usage and spot lock contention. In this example, we have three threads, worker, worker one, and worker two, and they are all vying for the same lock. Anytime a thread is stalled waiting for a lock, Telemetry shows a red stall zone. Mousing over the stall zone flashes green over the threads that are holding the lock during the stall. Stall zones make it easy to spot lock contention, and mousing over them shows exactly which threads are competing for the lock. Lock holds and lock weights are also displayed on their own tracks in the timeline. Each hold or weight is color coded by the associated thread. With all of these visual aids, it makes it easy to see how locks are affecting your thread's performance. It also helps show if your locks are behaving as intended.
Context switches are displayed on their own track in the timeline, and they are color-coded by their corresponding thread color. In this example, we can see that the main thread, displayed in pink, is primarily running on core 6, but briefly jumps down to core 7. Notice how the thread drops off and stops running when it is waiting for a lock. Down here in the worker threads, we can see lots of dead time where the threads aren't running as they wait for locks. In addition to seeing context switches in the timeline, we can also view zones in the core view. The core view shows a thread zone hierarchy sliced up by what core it is running on. The thread coloring helps to show when the scheduler moves a thread from one core to another. Plots are values over time, and they can be drawn on tracks in the timeline. Here we have three graphics plots, draw call count, instance count, and triangle count. Each plot has independent vertical view controls that allow you to zoom and pan. Plots can be drawn as points, lines, stair steps, bars, or lollipops. Plots on a track can be overlaid, stacked, or use the same range. You can generate new plots from existing ones. In this example, we generate a moving average of the triangle count plot. A plot's color can be changed by clicking on its color swatch. Plots can be removed from or added to a plot track, and a session can have multiple plot tracks. A new feature for Telemetry 3 is viewing multiple captures at the same time. Views can be tiled horizontally or vertically, allowing you to compare one run with another. For a free evaluation of telemetry, email sales3 at radgametools.com.